Uh, CT Moore, I'm here with Paul Reinheimer, lead developer at Mansef. How are you doing, Paul? Really good today. Uh, you just gave a presentation on PHP for enterprises. Yeah. Uh, what exactly is that all about? Um, really what I wanted to stress is that we're using PHP and we're dealing with a lot of traffic. Between our different websites and everything, we're probably seeing 70 million unique visitors per day. So we're really dealing with PHP at a high volume, uh, which I think might have been a better title for me. But um, it's really enterprise level load, I think. Do you find, uh, as a rule, that uh, enterprise level initiatives, uh, when you're dealing with big companies, they might lean more towards .NET rather than open source? or? I think they lean in a lot of different directions. Um, some people lean towards .NET, uh, others like Java or some of the options there. And I think those can work, but I think that PHP is a really good option for a lot of people in terms of it's an easy language to work with, uh, the share nothing architecture scales really well for a lot of different people. There's a lot of community out there that can help you get things started. Uh, the way we see PHP actually sort of sneak into a lot of enterprises isn't necessarily through the front door in a major project, but somebody needs to get something done next week, and there's this PHP module or PHP application that's free that does 98% of what they want, and they can just do the last 2% in the week that they've got. And then from that, it just sort of slips in a little bit more and more. Uh, do you find at the enterprise level there's um, anything, I guess, CTOs or developers should be really aware of with PHP rather than just, you know, using WordPress to serve up 50 million views a minute? Um, in terms of PHP, I think really th there's no there's no hidden sort of forks in the road or spikes or pit traps coming for you. Uh, it's, it's mostly pretty, pretty easily stuff you see coming in. Uh, usually it's the databases that you need to worry about scaling a little bit more. So what are your impressions of uh, Microsoft embracing the open source community right now? I think the view right now is really different than it was five years ago. Uh, if you go back five years ago, I think there's uh, a lot of sort of anti-Microsoft sentiment kicking around. Uh, but in the past, I think, five years or so, I've seen a lot of good stuff coming out of there. Um, I know that Microsoft has done a lot of work to which work with the PHP group in order to make, make PHP run better on Microsoft products. Some of the stuff they're doing with Expression Web is pretty nice. And personally, I'm really excited to see some new dev tools come out of them because they always produce really nice stuff there. So there's still, I think, giggles in the room when you talk about running PHP or other major products on Windows. But they're, they're a lot quieter than they used to be and maybe not quite as justified. I think I might end up sounding like a salesman here, but I think IIS 7 has done a lot in that regard. Their new sort of push updates, like on a per directory level, this is a really techy answer. They're doing, they're doing really good stuff with IIS 7 to make it more appropriate for a lot of different people. Thank you very much for your time, Paul. I appreciate it. Thanks.